So we're going to have a look here at some Modus data, how we download it and how we select which themes that we're interested in. So at the moment I've got the Glowviz interface up here like we looked at previously with Landsat and you can see that I've already navigated to the Darwin area and I've looked at a scene here. Now what you can do is exactly the same way we looked with Landsat, you can change the date that you're interested in looking at um, and the idea is to pick a, a cloud free scene that, you, that you're interested in downloading for example. So say I'm happy with that particular scene there. Most important thing here to look at with with this Glovis in, interface that I'm using here is the scene information on this particular ID here. Now if you look at the ID numbers it says H30V10 in about the middle there. Now this gives an indication as to exactly the location of that particular scene. We've also got some date information starting that particular ID number as well. So this is what we're going to use when we go to um, another interface to actually download the data. We're just using the Glovis here to search and select an image. Now if you weren't sure, sure that that was the image that you wanted, remember that you can always get up the browse image by right clicking and show browse and you can see that in a little bit more detail. The other thing when we look at look at the modus data here, if you look at under collection and for example you could go to modus aqua terra or combine, it doesn't matter which one, I've pulled up the the mod A1 um, data that's just, just off the screen now. Um, but if you go all the way to the top of this, this pull down box here you'll see a, a list called data descriptions and if you click on the data descriptions um, button there You'll, you can bring up another tab here, that goes this tab here, um, and this will give you information about the data that you can download. So we're looking here at the mod 09A1 data set here, and it tells you exactly what that data set is providing for you, and it gives you other different data sets there as well. So you can click into that to get a little bit more information too. Now what we're actually going to do today is to have a look at another website and how we download data from this particular point here. And this is the LPDAC or um, Distributed Arch Active Archive Centre um, website. And if you have a look at the link in your notes there, you'll see that uh, you'll see the link for this and you can pull up this particular web interface. Now to access the data pool you've got a number of options through the download Asta, Modus Aqua or Aquaterra or Combined Data. <coughs> Excuse me, and we're just looking at the Terra data for the moment here. So if you click on the Modus Terra, um, it'll pull up another tab that looks like this. And what we're interested in is we'd already selected that image in the Globius data set um, or archive imagery there that we wanted to look at the Mod 09A1 product. We've got all the different products listed here. So if we click on the Mod 09A1, you'll get another another web page that pops up giving you a list of dates. Now remembering that this is an eight day product so you won't see individual dates, you'll see dates um, within a sequence of eight days. And the idea is to go down and, and scroll down to the date of the image that you were interested in looking at. Um, so for example if I just clicked the, the most recent date here, um, I would then get another a web page that would actually allow me to download the data directly. So we see first of all a list of all the JPEGs of the different locations and again remember I, I noticed in the Glovis interface that you could see the, the H and the V value and I said it was H30V10 that we were looking at so we'd scroll all the way down to find that image that says H30V10 and we have an HDF and an HDF.xml or the, um, the header information. So these would be the two files that I would be interested in downloading and I can simply um, right click on those and save link as and save that to my hard drive and download that. Now the reason that we would use this interface instead of using the Globus interface for example is if we knew always that we were going to download the H30V10 data set we could come directly to this and download through this interface here rather than having to search through the Globus tool. Another website that's useful to look at here is this website here which shows all the different Modus products and it gives a lot of information on each of those. So again if we were to look at the Mod 09A1 data set there and pull that one up, already it gives me a brief bit of information there saying it's the surface reflectance in bands 1 to 7, um, but if I was 
as you pull up the next page you'll see that it gives you a lot more information on that particular product and this is really useful to get an idea of exactly what you're, what you're about to download.